As Somalia moves towards full liberation from the ragtag Al Shabaab militia, Vice President Kalonzo Musyoka has called on the international community to come to the aid of the Horn of African nation for it to get to its feet. Had they moved with speed after the Baghdadi peace processes, maybe even the Al Shabaab would never have taken hold of the country. So this is a call for me to the international community to now uh, rapidly and in a very decisive, timely manner make interventions that are going to make it possible, for instance, for the return of the refugees, a lot of whom are in Dadaab. And as you know, as a result of this heavy presence of refugees and, and the run, uh, the Al-Shabaab being on the run, our own internal security situation uh, is affected. The vice president emphasized that development is only attainable if a country remains peaceful. It's an important component of development, peace and security of the whole of East Africa for the simple reason that a secure environment is what we need to instill confidence that promotes investment in the economy and creates the ideal conditions for development to flourish. Only national actors can provide the necessary commitments and the political will to achieve peace and stability. That is why national ownership is key and has to be supported in order to attain sustainable results. Kalonzo also called on Kenyans to look beyond the skirmishes that rocked the country last month and shun divisive politics. So let's look at the positives now. That is all behind us. And if there be other issues that are related to, for instance, the oncoming elections, then we must be able to separate this. Uh, and I know as, as the various communities, say in counties like Isiolo, which have the similar kind of uh, situation like in Tana River, where some communities feel they may be marginalized by other communities, or indeed in Marsabit, we need to be able to deal with these issues. But in any event, never be able to allow politics to result in death of our people. He was speaking during the opening of a two-day high-level panel discussion on challenges and opportunities for security sector reforms in East Africa, organized by the government of the Slovak Republic and the International Security Sector Reform Advisory Team. Nancy Njoki, GBS News.